Hey guys, what's up? This is Mr. Free. Welcome back. Right, in the last episode, we um, oh, what did we do? We defeated Cerberus, and we also completed the deep jungle, which leaves just one place left to go. Pretty sure. Well. He's strong. He's kind. He's always there for you. And he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriated. He makes me crazy. Sorry, I just turned the mic off because I've got some background noise going on <sighs> in the house. Wait a minute. What are you worried about? All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Come on. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. She seems to be the ringleader. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. Okay, yeah, so we do have the choice of only going to one world, but which is there, uh, but we can't go directly to there, we've got to go to Traverse Town, but there's actually something I want to, uh, some things I want to do there anyway, so uh, again I'm going to skip out this boring gummy business, I'll see you in a bit. So easy and so far, and you can do it behind there. Almost done through here. I can't deal with all this background noise happening now. Welcome back guys, right, it only takes a couple of minutes but still, actually that took three minutes but I don't, still don't like putting you through it, so let's go to the accessory shop. Right, if you remember we actually learned the red trinity, uh, we haven't learned the green one yet, but we've learned the red one and there is one round the corner from here which I haven't actually shown you yet there was no point until I actually unlocked it, but it's around here. I'm not sure if we actually uh, saw that during the cutscene when we were here. I'm not sure, actually sure. But, doesn't matter, it's here. And that's, that's quite a funny trinity, actually, because the blue ones jump. Uh, that one, I don't know what that one's called. Is it Trinity Bash? 
gonna have a look now, actually. Just out of interest. Trinity Charge. Okay. Okay, let's see what this is. And it's some Dalmatians. This is our second chest. Right, okay, so that was worth getting, but that's not all there is to do. Dodge roll, speed things up. Um, I need to explain something. Yeah, I opened this door. Previously, it was uh, locked. And that was because... It, well, it was just locked, and I'll show you how I unlocked it. I just literally looked at this keyhole and examined it, and it just unlocks it. And you can, it's just a passageway. So if we can only do it once you've got the... Uh, well, I was about to say once you've got the keyblade then, but... Uh, it's not. It's after you defeat that boss. Nice. So yeah, just take these out. It should be easy now that we've leveled up. <sighs> I'm tired, I don't even know why I'm recording this, you know, I've been recording, I've just been recording all day, and that's a play shard, that's the first one I've had. I wasn't expecting to see these air pirates uh, so soon, to be honest with you, but we encountered these a bit later on in the game, but, no, seems not right. Come over to this door, you might have seen earlier, it's got a fire symbol, let's examine it. And we're not, we're not allowed in, but... If you use your brain, fire. just cast fire at it. And through we go. And what's through here? Now this annoyed me when I was a kid, but it's just simple. Just go straight and just jump. Why oh, I almost missed it then. And just jump over. Right, now you come around the side. There's a chest over there, we can't get that. There's a yellow trinity mark, we obviously can't do that yet. And hold on, where's the... It's around the side, the entrance is around the side. There we go. It's the empty room. And literally, this room is empty, there's just nothing in there. There's something about this musty place. It keeps hallucinating. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kyrie? Sora? It looks like he misses her. Oh, who's this? Oh, a familiar face. It's quite cheery music, this as well. It doesn't look like Harless, I mean, look at him. Merlin. The king has requested his help. But where is he? I suppose you could point us in that direction. Now we're going to see his trick that he uh, pulled off in the Disney film Sword in the Stone. I used to love that Disney. To be honest, I, lo I loved all of uh, the 90s Disney. Well, I say that's a 90s Disney. I don't know exactly when this one was made, but all the ones that I watched as, watched as a kid, I, I loved them all. I'm not, not so hot on the ones that they've made in the past few years, but I've grown up. So I suppose that is, that's uh, all I've got for the old ones. It, it's just got a lot of nostalgia for it. Right, and this room looks a lot more cosy here. And your king asked me to train you in the art of magic. Okay, now <laughs> you can train you with magic and basically all it is is you just go into a room and you've got this furniture that floats about and uh, you, you've got unlimited magic and you just cast your spells freely. Just that that's it. That's all that Merlin will do for you in terms of training. And we've also got the Fairy Godmother from none other, none other sorry, than Cinderella. Now 
like she is a she actually is more useful. Alright, let's go speak to her then. Heal up first and let's do this you're trying to say because I've just seen it. Mega Reefer, that's not bad. And some money. I'll pick that up. Alright, let's speak to her. Oh, has she gone off somewhere? Right, is there anything else? I don't think there's actually anything else we can do here. It's just an intro introduction. Right, yeah, that's that's it. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show off here. I'm going to go back to the gummy ship. And uh, travel to that world that we haven't been to yet. Now I was going to show off, uh, well not show off, I was going to keep in the gummy parts from worlds that I've not been to yet, but um, you know what, actually yeah, I'm going to have to because certain stuff happens sometimes, so I'm just, every time I've not been to a world I'll keep in the gummy ship section, but what, whenever I've been to one of those worlds I'll cut it out, because uh, sometimes some, some things can happen, and I don't want to... Uh, Edit it out. Well, I could do, obviously just edit it out and then cut back in when, some, when whenever something happened, but I'd rather not do it that way. But, yeah, I'm not taking them out. Now, I should really go and upgrade the gummy ship, but there really is no need. I mean, when I was younger, I used to, but if you're going to do that, you'd be better off doing it in number two. It's more fun. I need to get some more lasers on it though at least. I've got no firepower. And I could at least actually just put some uh, defense on it. Because some of the levels will get a bit nasty later on. <sighs> Should really have cut this out, but it's part of the game. Is technically something new. Just don't know what to say. There's nothing really to talk about during this. So I'm just trying to get a bit cocky, go through some. There we go. And we're done. This place looks a bit funny. Say it says Wonderland. I can think of one Disney straight away that's got the name Wonderland in it. Is that a clock? And that just gives it away to anyone who's watched it. Now I didn't watch, uh, Al well I did watch Alice in Wonderland, I watched it quite a few times actually, but it's not one of the Disney's, uh, I didn't watch it as much as I did uh, as my other Disney's, but I thought it was quite kind of a weird one, it was a bit, it was a bit, f not, f I don't know how to explain it, it was definitely a weird, uh, weird film. I was like seven years old. Right, okay, so. I feel so small. How did he get so small? Uh, no, you're simply too big. <laughs> what? Well, hmm. uh, must you be so loud? You woke me up. <sighs> Good morning. Good night. <laughs> I need a bit more sleep. Wait, Ooh. what do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. 
I will try the bustle. Whatever it is. Nice so drink it. And it, this world is a crazy world, just like the film. It's. I used to get stuck here a lot when I was a kid, but hopefully I should be able to uh, do it. No, I will be able to do it. I'll be fine. Touch wood. I haven't got any wood around me. Yeah, we have. Right, okay, if you look in the distance there, we can see a little pink box, but we can't do anything about that yet. And we can see a green trinity there. Again, we can't do anything about it. Ooh, another box up there. I wonder what these boxes are. We've got a funny face, Goofy. Right, anyway, let's carry on. It's with Tiny. Yeah, definitely more powerful now. So, actually, this is... Uh, the battle level area is one, so we should... Uh, zoom right through this place. Sorry. Smacked him right in the face, he didn't even wake up. Yeah, he's not getting up. Right, okay, so I need to figure out... No, hold on. Let's get bigger. Let's push this bad. Is that anything else we can... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Oof. That's quite annoying. I didn't see that door. Right, there's nothing else up there. Okay. Now, once we've pushed that, we'll drink it. My mistake. Oh, I can't believe it's coming up on 20 minutes. Well, it's not coming up on 20 minutes. I've actually been for about 15 minutes but we've not done anything I want to try and get cracking but obviously I know these cutscenes are going to stop me but what's going on it's like a trial court is now Session. I'm on trial, but why? Her Majesty, the Queen of Hearts, presiding. This girl is the culprit. There's no doubt about it. And the reason is because I say so. That's why. That is so unfair. I used to hate well, her. Have you anything time. to say in your defense? Of course. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. You may be queen, but I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to be so... so mean. Silence! You dare defy me? Hey guys, we should help her out. We're outsiders, so wouldn't that be muddling? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's against the rules. The court finds the defendant Guilty as charged for the crimes of assault and attempted theft of my heart. <gasps> Off with her head! No, no! That's a bit oh, harsh. Please. Hold it right there. Now he's stepping Who in. Who are you? How dare you interfere with my court? Excuse me, but we know who the real culprit is. Uh huh. It's the heart. <laughs> Anyway, she's not the one you're looking for. That's nonsense. Have you any proof? Uh. Right, okay. Bring her evidence of Alice's innocence. Fail and it's off with all of your heads. I'd like to see you try, but okay. Gather as much or little evidence as you please. Report back. Okay. Right, so yeah, I didn't really talk during that cutscene because it was all talking and I don't like speaking over uh, actual dialogue, so uh, yeah, I have this memory from the uh, from the film where, uh, to the introduction to her, I think it was the introduction of her, where one of these guys was uh, like painting roses, they like paint these roses but they painted them red and black, but one of them painted them black or something, I can't remember. Did, did just it was like off with the head and I used to freak me out when I was a kid I don't know why because I can't remember I can't remember if the like the card was dead scared or something I can't remember but yeah it used to freak me out I 
I wasn't a big fan of this guy either, the Cheshire Cat, but... From what I can remember, anyway. And he just likes to... Speak in riddles, I think. Well, he does give us a bit of help. All line darkness. Well, that's just not helpful at all. Okay. Four pieces of evidence. Three are a singe to find. The fourth is tricky. Big reward if you find them all. Ooh. Okay, should we trust him? Uh, I think we kind of got no choice, have we? Okay. So, yep, this is the... What's this place called? Is it Lotus Forest? It is Lotus Forest, yeah. Or is it Lotus Woods? I can't remember. But, yep. So done with the battle here, I'm going to end the episode because I don't want to get any more done because this is the start of from what I can remember it's quite crazy so yeah give you... why is he always just standing in front of me like that, bless him this is Mr. Frito, you've all enjoyed watching see you next time